Let's see what couple of days today. Ice. New ice. New possibilities. Oh, this looks beautiful though. A little bit. Like one thing I have noticed with ice maps. From from just playing enough of them. Is whenever ice maps have too long ice slides. So whenever an ice slide lasts like more than five seconds, I really struggle on the map. If it's just quick ice slides, I can calculate them. But the longer an ice slide is, like if it just keeps going turn after turn, the more I struggle. So the metric we'll use for how well I do on this map really depends on how how long the ice slides are. And that second one looked a bit tricky, but the rest look fine. My first attempt. Oh no, yeah, see, I'm already too late for this. Really stunning map though, who built this? Overgrown Shrine, Henry and Ali Good. That's a weird gear. Plus one dry day? Don't say that. I'm gonna play more couple of days now until I win. I'm gonna win one. Witness me. Bear witness to me defeating everyone else. Oh, that looks like a good line. Is there a gear I can get here? No. Because you have to slow down so much. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just trying to think about it. If I'm slow in this entry, I at least won't have gear issues there. If you ever are having problems sliding out on ice, it happens exactly when the car shifts gear up. So the car's like building speed mid ice slide. When it shifts up, you will at lose a tremendous amount of speed. If you're in an ice slide. While that happens. So sometimes you have to release to avoid a gear from happening. Sometimes you have to um, pick angles where it won't happen. Right now I'm trying to do the following like that not pick such sharp ice slides. Could you maybe... Oh, you could maybe actually wall bang on purpose to get a faster setup for the second ice slide. Might need to check a GPS on this, though. Yeah, hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's finish one more time. And then I'll see what I'm at. That's good, set up early. Now upper gear. That's so close to sliding out, I feel. This is a long one. Oh, that's too early, right? Or almost. Yeah, it was too early. Because the angle still ended up very awkward. Okay. Bad start, pretty bad middle, pretty bad end. Like, I already gained four tenths. Just in that very first eye slide. Too late. That's too late, right? Unless you get a better setup here. No, I don't know. I don't know, man. Does it make you feel better about like not understanding the map chat when I don't understand it? 
Like, is it is it comforting to know that pro players like myself are struggling? Because, like, if you watch me and you think, damn, okay, at least one of the pros can't even do it, so... Maybe I should, you know, lower my own expectations. I legitimately think you wallbang that last turn, because if I try to drift more in the ice slide, the car will slide out. I am almost sure of it. I'm almost sure that if you fully angle for that last one, the car will just lose grip. That's why I hit the wall. But I don't know if it's good. I also thought about that. Did you see that? Bro, no. <laughs> this entire map is a wallbang ice map, I'm pretty sure. There's like three spots that I've seen so far where hitting a wall would be faster. And then the, the problem with it is like, if you miss the angle for the wallbang just a little bit. Oh, can you keep it? Oh, you can actually hold on to it. Okay, it's about equal. Interesting. Hmm. Hum. Yeah, I don't think that wall being right there is necessarily the best one though. Right? No, that one loses. So two. I think there are two wall banks here that gain time. Ah, I shouldn't have released. Ellen's are cracked, yeah. Ellen's are doing so well right now. Go go. He is very good on ice, Alantar. That's good. Ooh. Sure. Valid. F? As we said, guys, anything that lags today, not my fault. Not my fault. <laughs> anything that lags. But that is frustrating if it's not fully fixed. We have consulted the tech gods. Like Nick Sly. What is that checkpoint? Why am I six seconds ahead? Okay, that, that minus six was fake. But... The pace was really good up until the ending. I messed up one of the ice slides terribly. The the wall bang is super fast. The wall bang is actually insanely fast. You can take the checkpoint before you took it early. I don't know, uh, Yozo. Maybe the checkpoint is kind of weirdly placed. Oh. 
please stop shortening checkpoint? Yeah, it's always weird. If you walk into the Trekmania stream and you hear like, damn. I really like this Trekmania RPG map. Especially that last CP was really good. When people say that, like, I know what they're talking about, and it's just Trekmania checkpoints, but it sounds iffy. It sounds wrong. Don't say that. Just say checkpoint. It's the same amount of letters. Like, it takes the same amount of time. It takes the same amount of time. It's like, I used to say WR all the time. <laughs> Damn, that's a really sick WR. And it's like, in that same amount of time, I could have just said world record. You don't, you don't gain any time by saying WR. And you're just, you sound like such a gamer. Who never goes outside. <laughs> Which is not, I mean, it's not, not entirely false, but we don't have to give off the impression. I'm dropping quite fast here, but ah, almost had that last one really good. Do you guys think people are going to go for wall banging rounds? It seems sketchy to just full send hoping for this to gain you time. Because if, if it sends you spinning in circles, you are probably out. And in this case, like, like didn't even gain me time. Right? So it's not a guaranteed time save. Only if you hit it really well with a certain angle. <laughs> you can probably also hit that. That's crazy. I don't want to jinx it, but it does look like I'm getting the mission one today. The time is strong enough. Did I grow a Mexican beard? I just didn't shave this morning. The, the frustrating thing, I'm in this spot, right? I cannot grow a full beard if I try. For, for If my life depended on it, I could not grow a ma majestic beard. My, my hair doesn't grow enough. But, I still have to shave literally every single day to not look like a homeless person. You know what I mean? Just, couldn't I just be like permanently like no facial hair at all? <laughs> Why do I- why am I cursed with shaving every single morning, basically? And never having the ability to get a majestic viking beard. Jesus. Next bet with Muddy not shaving for a month. I would not take the bet, because it would look awful. <laughs> Don't shave until you win a cup of the day. There was a Norwe Norwegian Viking king who did something similar. Harold Hairfair. Who, uh... To marry the woman he loved, he said, I'm not gonna cut my hair until I'm king of Norway. And then he had a majestic... Um... Mane... As his hair, until he became king of Norway like 10 years later. But I have no such aspirations. I'm gonna win a couple of days today, chill. No need to grow out my beard at all. It's gonna be a, a quick victory. Just, just easy win. Uh, Skalkium, think for the nine months you bought Trekmania because of me, best purchase of 2022. It's really good for the, for the price if you get into it. I'm happy you're enjoying the game. Barnes, thank you. Jobex, or Job X 3 x Perceive. Thank you so much, Tendius Dimidrev, uh, Big Little Pony Boy, Love Confession, Yato. Thank you as well. Nuts off, my friend and I started playing yesterday. We aren't nearly as good enough for a couple of days, so we're watching you together. Zalp, I want you to know, even Buckley plays a couple of the day. Okay? Anyone. Anyone can play a couple of the day.
You are not too bad to play cup of the day. Have fun, man. Don't gatekeep yourself. Just enjoy it. When will it release on console? I am guessing. And this is guesswork because they haven't set a date. April 1st. Because that's when the new Trackmania campaign releases. And just from a... Um, developer point of view, it makes sense to release the game on console with a brand new campaign the same day. Um, that's if I, if I try to think about how they would do it, that's probably it. I think it's gonna be soon. Zuck and Husey, thank you for the 4 months and 14 months. Thank you also Parox and Pandy for the primes. I didn't watch Road Record and I don't think we need it. Alright? The only thing I will need here is consistency. Look at this first Division 1 ever for Viking Joe. Good luck. Sparrow as well, first Division 1. There was a meme the other day about old TMNF players getting caught up to by uh, these new speed freaks in TM2020. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of true. There were definitely some old timers that didn't get Division 1 today because some new new faces got Division 1. Your Div 12, you're good at the game. Uh, I will have to say yes, Buckley, because else I'm telling everyone below your division that they're bad. Uh, but you just got a lucky day today. You just had a one one lucky day, alright? Virtual confirmed console coming April? I wish I knew. I wish I was in the know and could say like... Oh, everybody doesn't know when console releases, but I do. I, I don't. I literally don't know. Trackmania on Switch? I think it would be cool in an ideal world where it wouldn't lag. But I also think it would lag. Aren't there some games developers have tried to release on Switch and it's just not... Like, it's just not, like, good because of the lag. I think that would be the case. Maybe still the Steam Deck, though, could do it. It's starting! It's starting! Quite a beautiful map. And you know what I want to try one time? Because, like, Trackmania players, the way they get all these, like, cool scenery blocks is they use Blender or 3D Max, like, some some 3D um, modeling software, and then they make the blocks. I think it would be very interesting to just go on Fiber and challenge someone who, like, is very good with Blender but has never built a Trackmania map. To just make, like, whatever they want. And see what they come up with. Like some of the world's best Blender artists. Because once you know that program, I think you can literally make the best track mini-maps out there. Like, you give them a theme, right? You say, make a... Make a Lion King theme map. Dude, I think they could get an HD recreation of Simba and the bird, whatever his name was again. Patu? No. Zatu? I think it was Zatu. With ease. Zazu! Lion King, good movie. Good, good movie. Right. The 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 rule to live by on ice couple of days is if you don't slide out, you're not going out. World's based world's best on Fiverr. <laughs> what do you mean the world's best blender artists don't put up five dollar Fiverr gigs? 
They have five stars. That means they are the best. Right? Okay, let's just try the sharp angle. Plus 1.3, I could gain about a tenth. Yeah. Plus 1.4. But see, that was a calm, collected run. Now I am, uh, I'm up there. Also, I gotta say, so fun to see so many, uh... So many Nordic players as well. The Nordic Trackmania scenes is growing. Next slide updated everything but my plugins. There's only three of them. Bingo, split, split, and, and they're all working fine. They're all working fine, as is. Even a Japanese player? Are you sure it's not just a weeb? He might be ja he might be Japanese, yeah. Dude, that's 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 awesome. But there are there are weebs who will just put their flag to Japan as well. Good wall bang. Third. And a PB. Ooh, our Japanese friend is struggling. Ah, oh, they're out. Unlucky. Unlucky. I think I can do 40, 45. If I, um... <laughs> Weeps out. I think I do a 45 if I if I have to risk. Okay, so I just had no car sound and that almost screwed me over. I could not hear my gear whatsoever. A lot of eyes is just listening to what the car is trying to do. When I was a kid, I used to think the people who went like, Oh, do you hear that? When we were like walking in the forest, right? That's a uh, red-chested... Uh, uh, zipper, a bird, right? Or some some obscure bird name. Ah, oh, that's uh, a Wingius Flyus. Okay, but here I'm sitting, listening to gears of a car moving in a video game, and being like, "Oh, I can tell it's gonna slide out in one second." I am very cool. Bro! Do you see the potency of this wall bang? Do people know? Okay, I'm gonna lose time here, but for a second I was crushing. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of time here. That's fine, though. I'm just making sure I don't slide out. 
maybe they are aware, but like I was 0.1 ahead of this guy, right? And he did 0.7. So 0.5? Yeah, when virtual doesn't say thanks for the raid. <sighs> yeah, Buckley, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Next slide, 22 months. I can't believe a virtual made div one. I'm crushing on this next slide. I'm crushing. You thought wall banks were forbidden? Uh, only in competitive play. Everywhere else in track mania you can use them. But like some tor tournament organizers, uh, really only Nadeo, have decided to forbid uh, wall banks. Because they don't like them. That is a problem. So I think I caught it pretty well. Alright, I'm starting to see why people don't go for this. The gaps are big, just gotta keep it together. Beautiful ending, wow. I gained 0.17 to first. That was a very good end. We watching documentaries again? We can, we can. It's pretty bad, we watched it before, but it's a long time ago. We could watch it again. Oh, Danson is out, he's very good. Danson Damage, one of the best uh, ice players right now. He's doing very, uh, very well. But really, you can say that about the entire division one here. Toy Flume as well, Andy Baguette, Salmon like this stacked. That was bad. I'm not doing the wallbang right now. Got to focus on survival. Because I had a bad start. Oh, that's a satisfying last slide. It's very satisfying when you get it right. Oh! Andy with a big mistake. Yonta as well has gotten a lot of records in the uh, ice campaign. They're both... Uh, Andy's out. Yonta saved himself. You're from YouTube and don't even play Trick Mania, but damn, you're here. Congrats on 1 million. Thanks so much, Phony JP. You made me love watching Trick Mania again. You used to play some, but since it's pay to play subscription, you don't play it. You can play uh, Nations Forever if you want to. That older Trek Mania game. That one is free and free for life. Basically the same physics as this, just no ice. So maybe it's a better game. Maybe you're actually better off playing. TM enough. I feel so bad for Musa, by the way. He's been like crashing the start three times now, I think. There's something in that start he's not getting right. Hopefully he, uh, hopefully he survives again. <laughs> oh, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's fine. Dude, I, I hope he figures it out. Cause he had good pace and quality. How is Muscle surviving? Well, it's the, it's the thing, right? Slide out equals death on, on this map. And oftentimes when the gaps are big, people will drive safe lines, which turn out to not be so safe because you don't know how the car is gonna re react to you slowing down and then you slide out. The best policy really is just to drive moderately fast all the way. Because if you start releasing into the nice, you just more likely to slide out. I 
I almost lit out there. That was so close. Because I released, it was scary. Had I driven full speed, it would not be scary at all. This could be a big knockout. Toy Flume and Kuda last. Is Scrappy safe? Uh-oh. Scrappy out. But Toy Flume saved himself, and Toy Flume might win, because Toy Flume is so good. Just got out of Div 34. It's like a bunch of grandmas trying to walk down an icy sidewalk. And you were there to help them. You're a Chad. Thank you for your service. I probably should stop going for that. You know what? I should. I believe that that is a time attack strategy only. If someone wins this couple today using that, then congratulations, but... I'm getting second, uh, second thoughts about it now. I'm getting cold feet about it. It's just so, so risky, and you have no backup. Like, you can kind of hit the wall and crash out and whatnot, but like, just lose so much. Ah, uh, Viking Joe. His first couple of days, he got 30th? That's great, that's a really good job. GG Viking Joe. Congrats on your first Div 1. We gotta welcome the welcome our pion not not pioneers. Welcome our prodigies, all right? These guys will rule the game one day. Viking Joe Mama, a ruthless Dev One. Ooh, sure. Good. I'm scared. It's holding a very sharp angle there. Whew. These rounds are getting sketch. Naive out, symptom out, good players. Alansar, I think, is still in, though. Yeah, we're driving the same times. Alansar is still in. But he won't get me that easy. Okay. Or maybe he will. Oh my god. Disaster. What kind of mistake is that? I'm too early. It's not over, but... This is really problematic. Dude, I have to gain 0.4 on Toy Flume. I fucking sent that shit. And no, no, we're all oh, summer failed. I'm swimming. Oh, ah, no, bro. I thought I was clearly out. Oh, that's so annoying. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Ah, oh, so. Oh, oh, that's like. Mm. Ah. Oh. Anyways, a pretty good couple today. Oh, Alan is hard. Keep playing. Bro, keep playing. Keep pl Why are you- Why do you do this? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.
it's fine, guys. It's fine. I am a wholesome streamer that does not maul that things. Whew. It's okay. Didn't hurt my feelings whatsoever. It did not hurt my feelings. Oh, I hit the oh, I hit the wall. Start. Dude, I could have won today. But I go again tomorrow. Couple of day, you just gotta play enough of them. The streak, 281, I think now. Not 280, but 281 a couple of days in a row without winning. Although I haven't played them all. But still. But still. Next one. I'll see who this is, by the way. Borpa Spin is a famous ice map. Uh, if you call yourself Borpa Spin 2, then you're probably pretty good at ice. You're also probably smurfing. Does anyone go for the wall bay? Oh, it looks like... Nolix, I think, went for it. Another one there, okay. There's gonna be a third. Some people are gonna wallbang the end, I think. Oh, Masa. Big mistake. <gasps> but Nolix slid out! Maybe there's a chance. Let's see the ending. Rue is very wide as well. He's gonna be able to save it, though. Why did I 360 the wall that... Why did I 360 the end map? <sighs> to think of the squandered potential. To think of the wasted potential. Borp has been too medicine? Huh. Good ice player decides to quit the game. New ice player shows up on the servers. What happened? I thought I was out because I crashed the last turn, kind of. And so I did a... 360 before the finish line for fun. I was like, oh, I'm out. Might as well do a 360. Then I, I turn cars on and a car passes me and it turned out to be... the reason I got knocked out. Because I was like, oh, I'm out anyways. But I wasn't. It's not out. Play until the whistle blows, you are absolutely correct. I pay the price for stupidity. Keto hitting the wall. And Rui is going to climb back up. We still have some Nordic hope here. Look at this. Iceland, Finland, Sweden, Norway. And no Danes, I believe. There is a good Danish ice player, but he's not here. Another raid for beating me again. No, Alan, sorry. This one you don't get. This one you don't get. All right. This was this was not a real loss. This was a um, a fake loss. Buckley's pants with the band. That's oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> a loss. Guys, after couple today, today there's a huge map releasing. That we're gonna play. I first want to see who wins, especially Killer Dog. I'm rooting for. But the map is the Trekmania Anarchy map. Trekmania Anarchy is a product they've had on Reddit for the past month or so, and they've built a uh, a map together. And we're gonna play it. Top 10. One block per day? No, it's more like one section per day. Like, there was a day they placed a panel, like an image panel of me in a maid outfit. And then the next day, they placed the entirety of AO1. Uh, and then the next day, they placed a bunch of cacti all over AO1. Uh, and then they placed roadside spectators that you had to drive through. Um, stuff like that. Agility dashes on there. Like, the bobsleigh, it's, there, there's a lot of shit. <laughs> it's a wild map.
Yonta with a mistake. Killer dog as well, but he's going to catch up. He needs one more person to make a mistake. Norway versus Sweden in the back. And we all know Norway is better and would never lose to Sweden in a battle like this. To them, it might not even matter surviving. It's just about beating, beating Sweden. Looks like they're out. And Sweden loses since they're out as well. So really, they both tried, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Sweden's still out. Still, think about this, right? The pace you can drive is 47.5. You can drive a 47.5. So you can just casually drive a 47.5. It doesn't matter. You don't even have to drive fast. You just have to not hit the wall on the start. And then, and then not three, three, 360 the end. Whew. Show twist. I think Twist is going to win. As I say that, he almost slid out. I think someone is going to slide out here, because it's a very scary turn, this one. I can maybe um, turn on the... Um, where is it? The gear! He's too far. Surely. still fine um where is it yeah look at the gear bottom right in the in the middle turn there i don't know if it shows properly on ice but if they angle a little bit too much they will slide out because the car will accelerate too much gear shift so in this like the long 180 turn you cannot go for too sharp angle top six i think ruiz has never won by the way uh, I think the others have one. I can check the app. Rue is still going for the wall bang. That is respect. Because that is very hard to do. But right here, you cannot go for a too sharp angle. Spectator from Vig. Look at the... Oh! He shifted by going too sharp. I saw that they're going for a really sharp line, so it's just kind of expected. Um, okay. Ruiz. Best is 8th place, so this is his best couple of the day. Nolux. His best is 15th. His best couple of the day ever. Uh, Borpa Spin 2 has never been in Division 1 before. Um, I assume that's a smurf, by the way. Icarus has won one time, and uh, Vig has gotten second place. So I think I think Icarus and Borpa Spin have won before. Couple of days should replace the UN for geopolitical disputes. Yes. How about we solve world problems with <laughs> cars in a knockout racing game. It sounds like a great plan. Icarus might, uh... Might lose here. So they survive the ending. Which they will. Okay, that's exciting. Also, very fast time, 0.5 by Borpa. If I had to guess, I think it's Gus Silly Pants. Gus Silly Pants might be the Smurf in the COTD. Your second comment ever to get noticed in chat. This is a big moment for you. Don't keep typing weird things like... Like couple today being used to solve geopolitical problems. I won't read it. It's not like I read the weirdest message in chat to get a reaction out of chat. And thus encourage that behavior to happen more instead of just reading the perfectly normal messages. Every time.
I do, I do know though, there are chatters that I notice I read a lot of messages from. <laughs> it's not because they're funnier than the rest of you, but rather they just know what type of message to send to get me to read it. What is Twitch Prime? See, like, sometimes I'll just look at chat and I'll read, I'll read such a dumb question. Like, how do I use my Twitch Prime? Like, do you, you have it. You have the badge. Have you never used your Prime before? And it's available? That's crazy. You just hit the, hit the button and you use Twitch Prime and you support your favorite streamer with a free subscription every month. Twist PayPal? Well, Ruiz did uh, make a mistake. 0.6. Catching up here though. That's a lot. That's a lot of time gained. Brazilian internet is showing. But for being from such a tropical climate, he's doing pretty well on this. Point one behind Nalax. Catching up. Last ice slide. Nalax with a better approach. Oh no, oh no! Ooh, by one or two hundredths he gets there. It's all in the slides. It's all in the slides. Better approach wins. Nalox versus the Smurf. Stressful situation, because Borpa Spin 2 here has been driving ridiculous times every round. And he's 0.3 ahead already. Which does not bode well for... Uh, for Nalox. 0.6 now. Dude, he's so clean. Insane lines. Oh, hits the wall though. That's not going to cost him too much. Hitting a wall with your front wheels is really not the worst. On ice. And this is looking pretty much over. What's the time going to be? Not perf. Drops the BM. Drops a little bit of BM. GG to... I'm gonna guess it's Gus Silly Pants. Because, um, if you check this guy's profile. Um. I think he, I think he literally just started playing. <laughs> I think he. He <laughs> has not played any of the campaigns. Just hopped straight on Cup of the Day and won Div 1. It's probably Gus. GG though. That was crazy.